Okay, and then I would like to introduce our speaker, Satan Wasanwa. Um, she is the founder and CEO of Sentinel, a startup that utilizes patent pending technology to provide claims free coverage for hard to insure risks in the areas of interrupted utilities, climate change, infectious disease, and event cancellation. Sentinel will first launch with coverage for extended power outages and has just finished building out the MVP. Prior to founding Sentinel, Sata managed product strategy and innovation at Allstate, where she defines strategy and orchestrated collaboration across innovation, product, data science, pricing, and marketing teams to develop patented new to industry risk assessment products. She also brings extensive experience in strategy, operations, marketing, and organizational des design from her time at firms, including Bain & Co., McMaster Carr, and Draft FCB. Moreover, she is enthusiastic about how distributed ledger technology will transform how we work, live, and play. Sata holds a BA and MBA from the University of Chicago. OK, awesome. and then I'll hand it back over. All right. Thank you so much for that warm introduction. I uh, really appreciate it. And thank you uh, to everyone who's uh, tuning in. Super excited to share about Sentinel with you today, as well as how Python is helping us live into our mission to provide that claims-free coverage for hard to insure risks and really uh, provide greater peace of mind uh, for uh, people everywhere. All right, so I'm gonna uh, start sharing my screen. Is everybody able to uh, see my screen? All yes. Right. Perfect. All right, we'll hop right into it. So um, as been mentioned, um, Sentinel uh, is a platform, a uh, parametric platform that provides claims-free coverage for hard to insure risks. So um, we'll dive into a little bit uh, in just a moment what parametric uh, means. So, and why uh, Python was so crucial um, to being able to develop Sentinel's MVP and beyond. Um, so for our agenda today, it was gonna give a bit of an introduction on me, then dive into you, uh, telling you all about Sentinel and then how Sentinel leverages Python, what our next steps are as a startup, and then leaving some time for Q&A at the end. Now, of course, if anybody has any pressing questions as I'm going through this, uh, feel free to put those questions in the chat. Um, and then uh, otherwise, we will address them uh, at the end. All right. So, uh, Beautiful, wonderful introduction from Olivia. So I don't really feel like I need to tell you anything more about myself. She's covered it all. Um, but I am the founder and CEO of Sentinel and um, have had the opportunity to work across a lot of great organizations in the past. And most recently, prior to founding Sentinel, I was managing product strategy uh, and innovation at Allstate, which is uh, where I met um, Soi Chang. Um, and uh, we worked not necessarily on the same projects, but within the same uh, department. So we'll move it right along to finding out about Sentinel. So Sentinel provides claims-free parametric coverage for hard to insure risks. So um, I'll start actually on the right. So with traditional insurance, um, when the policy holder experiences a risk, they have to jump through a number of hoops in order to potentially uh, get reimbursed on their claim. So first, the insurer wants to see, did the policy holder submit a claim? And so if they did, then the policy or the insurer is wondering, uh, was the risk actually covered? Um, and then from there, uh, what was the proximate cause of loss? Um, and is that covered? So for example, you can experience water damage, but not all water damage is covered. Um, if that water damage was due to flooding, um, if that's excluded from your policy, it's not going to be um, uh, something that you'll be able to get reimbursed for. And so from there, you the uh, insurer wants to know how much damage occurred, um, and then was the deductible met, and then maybe your insurer is going to uh, reimburse your claim. So that's kind of like a super high level um, picture of what the traditional insurance experience looks like. But if we turn our attention to the left-hand side of the, the screen here, uh, we can see a high-level illustration of what a parametric coverage approach looks like. So with parametric, we're simply asking, did the event occur, yes or no? And if the event did occur, then we're gonna send that payout that we agreed to with a policy holder at the beginning when they set up their policy. If the event did not occur, um, if those parameters were not met, then there's no payout, it's that simple. 
Our mission at Sentinel is to provide greater peace of mind that empowers more effective communities. Every year we're seeing a host of risks across interrupted utilities, climate change, infectious disease, and event cancellation. Uh, so with interrupted utilities, we're seeing that 4 million and more people go without power for three days or more. Within the climate change category, 71% of uh, adults in the US indicated that they have experienced extreme weather within the past year. On the infectious disease side of things, um, each year in the US, we have 23 million people or more who are seeking treatment for infections. And then with event cancellation, um, I think about, I, I can't begin to tell you how many people I know who had to uh, cancel weddings or whatnot during the pandemic. And then we can move into things like conferences. I was supposed to go to South by Southwest for the first time in 2020 and obviously didn't get to go and do that. Um, so we're seeing hundreds of billions of dollars um, are spent on events each year and much is lost um, when we have to uh, cancel those events. Sentinel, however, aims to make billions of dollars in hard to ensure risks coverable. And in, by doing this, we will reduce anxiety and complications, we'll improve quality of life and increase productivity. So our pipeline is filling up with multi-industry distribution partners. Uh, right now, our pipeline for distribution, so and by distribution, I mean, how will we actually get Sentinel's policies into the hands of would-be policyholders? Our potential uh, partner list, we've signed agreements to explore partnerships with a financial services provider for small to medium-sized businesses, a $30 billion multinational energy and digital automation company, a developer of climate resilient uh, energy and energy efficient homes, as well as we're exploring a partnership with one of the largest utility providers in the U.S. that serves uh, well over 5 million accounts. So why are they lining up to distribute coverage for hard to insure risks? Well, let's look at the need. The majority of U.S. adults need coverage for hard to insure risks. Whether we're talking about interrupted utilities or an infectious disease or climate change and event cancellation, we ran a study with over 400 participants. And what we found is that 73% of U.S. adults indicate that they do not have adequate coverage for these hard to insure risks. Moreover, we are increasingly facing these hard to insure risks every year. And they're costing over 500 billion a year in the U.S. alone. Traditional insurance, uh, on the other hand, can't adequately cover these risks for a host of reasons, including things like inconvenient claims processes, opaque terms and exclusions, and uh, all of which translate into slow reimbursements. Uh, processes and a subpar customer experience. I mean, when we think back to your Hurricane Ian that occurred last year, um, even though I'm in the industry, or I've been in the insurance industry, it still blows my mind that millions of people went to file claims in the wake of Hurricane Ian only to discover that things like windstorms, so hurricanes and tornadoes or flooding is typically excluded from your standard uh, home or renter's insurance policy. So what are we to do? How can we address these hard to insure risks? The solution is Sentinel's claims-free parametric coverage that addresses these hard to insure risks. So imagine being able to receive a hassle-free payment if you experience any of the risks that we've got illustrated here on this page. So uh, with infectious disease, for example, imagine being able to take out a policy that says, hey, uh, if my lab results show that I've tested positive for this particular pathogen and I've been hospitalized for this amount of time, then I don't receive a payout of X. Uh, with an interrupted utilities, which is our initial use case, and we've built our MVP around this. Imagine being able to say, hey, I live in this county, if we experience a power outage that lasts more than three days, I'd like to receive a payout of why. Under climate change and weather-related events, um, that would be similar. Uh, we would be able to say, uh, here's a policy that indicates that if you live in a particular geography, zip code, county, and you experience a tornado of a certain category or flooding to a certain level, you can choose your payout amount in the wake of such an event. And then finally, with event cancellation, we'd be able to tie these different risk uh, occurrences to specific events in time. So I'm sure you're wondering, how does this work? Well, let's take a closer look. Sentinel provides coverage in six steps. First, our platform defines the triggers and writes that contract so that the policyholder can complete a short survey that our platform uses AI to classify their risk and recommend a policy. 
From there, once the policyholder has agreed to those contract terms, then our platform is scanning real-time databases to ascertain whether a covered risk has occurred. Should we detect that a covered risk has occurred, then we automatically send that pre-agreed upon payout amount to the policyholder, no claims required. To make this a little bit more concrete, here is a glimpse of the MVP application that we've uh, finished building up all the high priority functionality for. So essentially you could come to us, uh, choose your coverage level. So the size of the payout that you wanna receive, put in the address for which you wanna receive coverage, uh, pr process your payment uh, for your policy, as well as set up your payout account to automatically be paid out. We've already created the data pipelines that allow us to monitor for these risk events in real time. So should we detect them, we'll actually notify you and direct you over um, to your uh, account so that you can complete a super short um, questionnaire to verify that you have experienced the risk and then get your uh, payout processing right away. So let's take a little look at our business model. So Sentinel will first generate income from a business perspective through the sale of these risk coverage uh, premiums or policies. From there, as we grow, we'll expand into generating revenue through two additional streams, licensing our underlying technology, as well as entering into prediction markets and derivatives trading. So we know that people are concerned. We've already seen that the majority of US adults uh, do not have adequate coverage for these hard to insure risks. But beyond that, we also found that pe people want coverage. 70% of US adults indicate that they are interested in purchasing coverage and that they're willing to pay 10 to $100 per month for $500 to $10,000 worth of coverage. With this information, we were able to then begin sizing out on what we'd call the market opportunity here. Now, while we know that the risks that Sentinel is targeting are not unique or isolated to just the US or North America, these are global challenges. Uh, for our initial launch, for entering into the market, we are focusing on the US. And so when we zoom into the US, we find that the total market opportunity for US adults is just around 188 billion. That sounds like a really big number. So let's walk through how we get there. So we know that there are just around 260 uh, million adults in the US. When we look at the percentage who indicate that they're willing to buy across the four risk areas, as well as the average price that they indicate that they're willing to pay per month, that's how we can do that math and get out to that $188 billion number. Now, of course, as a startup, um, we can't tackle all four of these risk areas at once, and we're not trying to or aiming to. Rather, we've chosen the interrupted utilities risk category uh, as our starting point. Our initial use case uh, is within and around providing coverage for extended power outages. That's what we've built our MVP around, and that's where we plan to launch. So we know that within the past year alone, millions of households and businesses went without power uh, for over three days due to catastrophes. Like just within the past month or so, we saw hundreds of thousands of people with across Oklahoma, Texas, um, Louisiana, and more um, go without power for days on end um, due to storms and the heat waves that we're uh, experiencing. Uh, earlier in this year with the astrological floods and blizzard that hit Southern California, we once again also saw over 100,000 people go without power for many days. Uh, then in uh, December, I think we all kind of were probably gripped by the news around Christmas time with the blizzard that hit Buffalo and also left uh, thousands of people without power. And we've already talked about Hurricane Ian in the wake of which uh, well over a million people went without power for days on end. Now, had these people had a policy from Sentinel at the time, they would have been able to receive an automated speedy payout that would help to cover things like spoiled food, perished inventory, alternative temporary housing, property damage, and more. Now, when we focus in on the priority states for our initial use case, what we see is that we have an $18 billion opportunity. Now we chose these eight priority states based off of demand data. We were looking at things like say Google AdWords data to see where are people the most uh, strongly and organically searching for things like coverage for power outage or power outage uh, insurance. And these are the states that floated to the top. So where are we in bringing uh, this solution um, to the people who need us most 
While we've taken significant steps to providing peace of mind when insurance isn't enough, from speaking to well over 500 potential policyholders, both on the uh, consumer side and the commercial side, to building out the MVP for our initial use case, acquiring substantial risk data in order to build out our risk pricing models, filing for non-provisional patents around uh, not just our approach to covering risk, but also our approach into entering prediction markets and derivatives trading. And then finally, we've also paved the way to receive licensing in all 50 states. All right, so that's Sentinel in a nutshell, if you will. Now, how has Sentinel leveraged Python uh, in order to live into our mission and achieve our goals? Well, we needed to develop Sentinel's risk pricing model. To do that, we had a few different inputs. We had willingness to pay data. We also had historical power outage data by counting utility across the United States going back uh, several years. And then we also had data around fixed and variable expenses that we needed to account for. All of this data put together, we were talking about well over 10 million rows of data just with the historical power outage data alone. We needed to clean and normalize that data. We needed to run calculations and analytical processes on it. We needed to structure it and the output in a form from which we could derive the insights that we needed in order to generate the conclusions that we needed. So up first, or uh, at the beginning, we kind of wanted to structure our, our approach. So understanding our inputs and our desired target output, if you will, we constructed a methodology for extracting the insights that we needed. Now, I know enough to be pretty dangerous in uh, Excel, right? That's kind of where I've lived for much of my career personally. I'm not a data scientist by trade. So I was able to do some testing around the types of analysis that we would like to do on the data in Excel. And along the way, uh, it would take me uh, sometimes half an hour, an hour, two hours just to crunch like one process or one formula. It crashed so many times. Um, and that was basically just trying to get through a few hundred thousand rows of data, right? Um, and I knew I was up against millions. Uh, I knew that this was a job that Excel was just not going to be able to do. So what did I do? I um, turned to data scientists that we were collaborating with and said, hey, can we do this kind of analysis with Python? And they said, absolutely, yes, you can. So to build Sentinel's risk pricing model, we um, leveraged Python to be able to do those things around pulling in the data from the different sources that we needed, um, structuring, cleaning it, structuring it, normalizing it, and then running the analytical processes that processes on it that we needed to do in order to spit out the output that would allow us to build out our risk pricing model that covers every county across the United States. So how else will Python help Sentinel provide greater peace of mind? Well, if, at least a few different ways. Here are just some of the ways in which we'll also be leveraging Python and are beginning to do so as well. So around data engineering. So as we continue to create data pipelines, cleaning and normalizing that data to bring in information around all the different risk categories that we aim to expand into, Python will be critical to that. Um, from an AI and machine learning perspective, we'll be using Python as we aim to generate predictive analytics for pricing, as well as recommending coverage levels and things like that. And then finally for automation. So how can we, we're thinking through how we can continue to leverage Python for interacting with risk data APIs, detecting fraud, generating reports and things like that. What's next? So what are our next steps? So our next steps are bringing Sentinel to market. And really there are three boxes that we're checking, um, capacity distribution and product. So on the capacity side, we're focused on raising a pool of funds to ensure that Sentinel can cover payouts from day one. So of course, as we hit run rate, the premiums that we're collecting will be able to support that, but we've gotta be ready in case we have to uh, send out payouts right as we're getting off the ground. Um, the second is around distribution. We kind of talked about this already. We're already securing those partnerships to get Sentinel into the hands of the policyholders that need us. And finally, product as we align on the uh, distribution partners and channels that we'll be launching with, we'll fine tune our MVP to best fit those partners and channels. So we are your Sentinel, always on guard to make billions of dollars in hard to ensure risks coverable. Thank you for listening and I'm happy to answer any questions um, that may have arisen as I've gotten through this information. Great, thank you. I'm gonna stop recording right now.